So what is better, conventional mute or 3D printed resin crowns? So to answer this question, we checked in the literature and we found some articles uh, that we are going to present here. So the first article is from Park and Collaborators, published in 2016 in the Journal of Prosthetic Dentistry, and they used a high-end 3D printer to produce uh, resin crowns, uh, which had better adaptation than milled and conventional crowns. Okay? Uh, the second article also used a DLP 3D printer, so this is an article from Peng and collaborators, published in 2019, the Journal of Prosthetic Dentistry, and they also found that the DLP 3D printed crowns had better adaptation than conventional and similar to the milled crowns. All right, So both CATCAM uh, methods, uh, milling and 3D printing, were better than the conventional methods to produce the resin crowns. Uh, now we have uh, an article from Sampaio and collaborators published in 2020 in the Journal of Static and Restorative Dentistry. They used an LCD low-cost uh, 3D printer and they found uh, that the 3D printed crowns had higher cement film thickness as compared to the conventional and the milled uh, PMMA crowns. The next article is from Park and collaborators published in 2020 in the materials uh, from Basel, and they found that 3D printed uh, fixed bridges with DLP and SLA technologies, they had better mechanical resistance than conventional and similar to milled crowns. The next article is also about mechanical resistance and mechanical properties, which is from Tahayeri and collaborators published in 2018 uh, in the dental materials. They assessed SLA 3D printed crowns and they found that those are comparable in, in regards to mechanical properties than conventional PMMA crowns. Okay, uh, Most of these articles used uh, five axis milling devices, so those results are actually significant and clinically relevant in general. Then we have uh, an article from Corbani and collaborators published in 2020, uh, again uh, using SLA uh, 3D printed crowns, which have better resistance uh, to fracture than uh, milled crowns. Okay, They also found that the best thickness for 3D printed crowns is 1.5 millimeters. So the next article is from EO and collaborators, uh, published in 2020 in the Journal of Prosthetic Dentistry. Uh, and that's actually an article about color stability. So they used DLP 3D printing to produce crowns which had uh, higher color stability than the crowns that were milled with a 5-axis milling device. And then we have an article from our team published by uh, No Cortes and collaborators in the European Journal of Prosthetic and Restorative Dentistry in 2021. And we actually compared 5-axis uh, milled resin crowns with uh, 3D printed crowns using a low-cost LCD uh, 3D printer and we found that milling allows for manufacturing uh, crowns faster and with smaller 3D deviations, so better accuracy, than uh, 3D printed crowns. On the other hand, milling is more expensive and with lower production rate than 3D printing and that's also clinically relevant for us dentists. So the results are telling us in general that you know uh, the outcomes depend on the materials used, depends on the devices used, and we can conclude that CADCAM crowns with milling and 3D printing are satisfactory for clinical usage as compared with conventional ones, and that's clinically relevant for us dentists. So if you liked this video, please give us your like, subscribe to our channel, feel free to share this video with anyone, and stay tuned for the next videos.